question two is to find angle measures using different properties of circles. Here we have been given a circle which one side, one angle, sorry, is unknown. That is x degrees. But others are all known. So how do we find this? It's very simple. We know that sum of all the angles are 360 degree, right? So 360 minus 105 minus 60 minus 115 will give you the x angle. So that's it. Add them all up and subtract them from 360. You should get x degrees. You can directly do it in the calculator. And over here, they have not given all the three sides. One side is 120, one is x. What does this mean? This means it's a 90 degree angle over there. So we know the 120, 90, unknown x can be easily found out by subtracting these both from 360. You can see here. Uh, the sum of central angles means adding all the angles equals 360. What I did was I've just taken this directly to the other side. Also, you can type this equation out directly in the calculator. 105 plus 60 plus 115 plus x equals, that is by alpha equal to, that's over here, alpha cal. And x is by alpha and this over here, closing the bracket symbol. Now, don't press equal. Do you will not get answer because you have used equation and variable press shift and solve and it will solve for x and then press equal to you will get the answer that's 80 degrees and similarly you can try the others here we have been given 42 and we have no clue what is x on the other side but if you see this is the diameter they generally mention this so this ac right this line is the diameter so this is 180 degrees you know, 180 plus 42, it's 222. You just do 360 minus that, you'll get the answer. You can see over here, that's the answer. Moving on to the next type of problems. Here we have been given a circle with many angles. And we need to find the measure of arcs. And we have to tell whether they are major or minor arc. Now, EA, you can see E and A, right? This is a minor arc because it's less than 180 degree. But here it's not just finding that, you need to even find the angle. Now whenever an arc is 180 degrees, it is a semicircle. But if it is more than 180 degrees, if it's more, anything more than 180, it is a major arc. And whichever is less than 180, it's a minor arc. Now how can you find the arc EA? To find arc EA, just find this angle, you will find it out. So how we can do it is, you know, AC is 180 degrees, isn't it? You have 130, what is this remaining? 130, 180 minus 130 will be 50. So it's a minor arc and 50 degrees. Same way, we will just find out all the angles and what is this angle here? This is again, you know, uh, 180 minus 50 will be 130. You can also see this as vertically opposite. These both are vertically opposite angles. This is 130 vertically opposite angles. Various ways to solve it. Now the first one was 50 and it's minor. What about CB? You can see over here CB is this arc. That is 50 degrees already uh, given over here. DC, where is DC? It's 100. It is minor arc as well. DEB, see DEB, it'll be 180 plus 30, it's 210. What about AB? A, B, C. Now, don't consider A, B from the outer side. If they tell you D, E, B, then we have to go D, E, B, not directly D, B. Now, A, B, the nearest distance is just this. Whereas if they are told A, D, you don't go like this, you go direct to it. Okay. So, A, B would be the shorter distance. So, it is a minor arc itself, 130. And C, D, A, that would be semicircle 180 degrees. So, that's the answers. Now we have another problem. PR and QT are the diameters. Now we need to find these measures. What is UPQ? UPQ is this. It's 90 plus 40, 130. Same way do the others. I'll do one more. Say I'll do the last one. PR. See now PRU. Don't go like this because they have told you. So we have to go like this. PRU. Now we know the total circle is 360 minus the remaining part 40. So it must be 320 here. All the others are very straightforward. The answers are simple. So please do try them by yourselves and then check the answers. 360 minus 40 is 320. That is the end of this question. 
I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.